Welcome to the overview of advanced search. In addition to the quick search that users see throughout CCH Access Workflow, Workflow provides a more advanced search with many filters. This function will be useful when users need to go beyond seeing what's on their My View page or searching for one client using quick search. We will begin by going through an overview of the search filters. Users will learn what each filter does, most of them being fairly self-explanatory. Users will learn one filter in particular in a little more detail, which is select client by user. This is one of the more valuable filters you can use in workflow. As users learn about each filter, they will learn how to populate the filter fields, including how to multi-select filtering selections. Next, a basic search will be run to see what a search result looks like. In addition, users will learn to quickly modify the search filters already applied and rerun the results rather than starting from scratch. Users can access advanced search by clicking the magnifying glass next to the quick search box. Let's begin by elaborating on select client by user filter. The best way to understand this filter is to compare it with who is task active filter. The who is task active filter displays all the active and inactive users within workflow. Currently it is showing active users. If a user wants to search for an inactive user, they can click on the two arrows for the option to show inactive. Next, Using the Auto Suggest drop down list enables the user to select an active user for the search criteria. Clicking Search will bring up the list of tasks that are currently on the user's My View page. Let's now see what happens when we input the user's name in the Select Client by User field instead. Users can see the list of tasks has expanded. This filter brings up the list of tasks for the selected user where the user is listed at least once in the Staff section of the Tasks Control Sheet. For example, by selecting any of the tasks from the search results and go to Control Sheet and navigate to the Staff section, users will see the username listed at least once. This filter is useful because it will allow users to paint a better picture of how busy a person may be by looking at all the tasks that the selected person is associated with, in addition to what's simply on that person's My View page. Let's go ahead and define other fields that are available in the Advanced Search page. We will go in order from top left. The year filter represents the dates of the tasks the user wants to filter by. This search defaults to the fiscal years that have been selected under the firm settings section of the manage settings and defaults utility. By clicking on the filter field, users can see the available selections for that filter. If the user wants to add additional years to search for, they can add one at a time or add more by holding down the control key and clicking multiple years. Next, Users can filter by specific last names and entity names of the clients of the tasks. Once again, users can select more than one selection as necessary. Users can multi-select by holding down the control key. Users can search by the account number as well as by keyword. The keyword filter is useful when users want to search for specific descriptions of the tasks. Users can also search on custom fields using the keyword filter. Users can search by group, group number, originating location and current location. The originating location represents the location of the client of a task, which is designated when that client is first created in workflow. The current location represents the location of the user who has the specific task. In this instance, by choosing San Francisco in the originating location and Miami as current location, the user is looking for tasks where the client is located in San Francisco, but currently being worked on by employees located in Miami. Moving to the top right, users can search by task category. There are four default categories, tax, financial, bookkeeping slash accounting and other. Users can search by task types and status that a task is sitting in. The include, exclude feature which are the arrows can be used to include or exclude task types or statuses in your search. In addition, the feature allows users to select the search criteria faster and save a search with the value selected. For example, by choosing completed in the status box, and clicking the icon to exclude, you are now searching for all statuses, excluding the status of completed. Users can also search for tasks based on what deliverables the tasks has. Standard deliverables are state deliverables for 1040, 1120, 1065, 1041, and 990 task types. TSD stands for Task Specific Deliverables. These are deliverables that were created for a specific task. FSD stands for Firm Specific Deliverables. These are standard deliverables created by your firm. These are in addition to the workflow standard deliverables. Users can search by a range for the period end of the tasks. Users can search by priority and by level of difficulty. 
as long as these parameters have been set for the tasks. The priority and level of difficulty can be assigned in the task info section of the control sheet. They can search by the range of a projected start and restart date of the tasks. Users can click on more filters to apply multiple search criteria, such as the on and off searches. By turning on show open points, users can search for tasks that have open points. By turning on show open checklists, users can search for tasks that have open checklists. The same applies to show tasks without projected start restart date. Extension task category filters will allow users to search for tasks that are or are not yet extended. Users can also filter their search by a specific extension status of a task. Lastly, a user can set a range of original due dates and current due dates of the tasks that they want to filter by. Now let's apply this knowledge and perform a search. Let's do a search looking at my 1040s, 1065 and 1041s. I only want to see tasks that are in the status of preparation and have a due date of April 15th. When all the filters are complete click search. You will notice that the format of the search result looks the same as your My View page. Just like in the My View page, you can take actions the same way by clicking on the client names and updating task info, moving task, adding points, and creating extensions. You can see you have the same status pie chart as in the My View page. And, you also have the filters that can be used. Lastly, if you want to modify your search for a quick adjustment and rerun the results rather than starting from scratch, you can click on Modify Search, and change the filters as necessary. This concludes this video tutorial on advanced search.